What's up, y'all? Mark Lobo on TigerFitness.com. Check it out. So, here's a question from Peter. Hey, Mark, I've been working out for almost two years now and have body definition. I gained a couple pounds but never had a proper diet in place. Is a diet an absolute or will I always stay like that because I'm looking at getting a bulk going on to get that mass? Let me know. If you feel that this question is good enough for a video, that would be greatly appreciated. Now, let me see. I did answer him an email. And, uh, yep, okay. Okay, basically what I wrote back is you need a proper diet to make gains and constant caloric adjustments to gain and, gain and cut. If you do it half-assed, you will get half-assed results. Exactly. Let me elaborate on that. Um, people who go to the gym and train every day, you see them at your gym, they look exactly the same. They look the same. I'm so mad I need a protein shake. The reason I look the same is that their diet fucking sucks. What the hell are you eating? And you gain a couple pounds and never had a proper diet in place. Is a diet an absolute? Okay, if you're looking at getting a bulk, here's what you do. I'm going to explain this because I write this in email format five times a day at least. I really need to work on a copy and paste section. Our FAQ. Here's the deal. You measure your food, every single thing you put in your mouth. Even that whipped cream you put on the stripper's boobies before you licked it off. You measure every single thing for a week. Okay? Every calorie for seven days. Hell, do five days. Just If you do it for five days, let's say you measure all your calories. Divide that shit by five at the end. Measure all your calories for five days. Fat, protein, carbs, and calories. Divide all that shit by seven. That right there is your maintenance, assuming you didn't gain weight or lose weight. To gain weight, add around 200 to 250 calories to that. To lose weight, subtract about 200 to 250 calories from that. As for macronutrient splits, it all depends on what you subscribe to, but I generally want to get a gram to a gram and a half of, per pound, of protein per pound of body weight per day. Um, at least 50 grams of healthy fats, usually, unless you're in the end of contest prep. And then, fill in the rest with carbohydrates. It's really not that difficult, but, like I said before, if you do it half fast, you're going to get half fast results. So, there's my, there's my answer to you, Peter. If you have any questions, further questions, email mark at tigerfitness.com. Mark Lovire, tigerfitness.com. Peace out.